Anakin returning, that also sort of brings things full circle from that first tease at the end of episode 4. All of his appearances have had a thematic element to it, with them clearly being based around training. The vision in the world between worlds was giving her a lesson about life and death, and even the hologram was training her in a certain way. They've constantly retained this master and apprentice relationship with her not only learning from his pros, but also from his cons. Ahsoka of course knows the dark man he became, and in opposite to this she clothed herself in white. He was said to be someone who'd bring balance to the force and we've seen a lot of people who follow on from him help to fulfil that. Ahsoka has sort of become Ahsoka the White, whereas his grandson Kylo Ren became a dark Sith Lord. Luke did his, his Luke thing and drank blue milk, but he trained Kylo carrying this on. Either way, Anakin now sits on a higher plane of existence, able to access the living world by harnessing the force. There was a comic that talked about how Qui-Gon became a force ghost and that he said upon death he was absorbed into the cosmos. Concentrating though, he was able to regain his identity and his memories came back after having just become an essence. Anakin still has several people pulling him back and he likely feels guilt from how he lived his life. His entire lesson to Ahsoka was about making her remember he was once a good man and this was so she couldn't get thrown off in a battle. Ahsoka blamed herself as she left the Jedi Order and thus she had to be reminded so it was no longer a weakness. Now I think Anakin may be revealed to be a Mortis God, which again, the statue with Balin teases. In the Clone Wars, Anakin actually clashed with his son, who, as we mentioned before, this statue belongs to. I think that he may become the father with Luke becoming the son, and Ahsoka could even end up becoming the daughter. I know he had Leia, but she didn't fully train, and from a technical point of view, it would make more sense to do it with Rosario since Carrie sadly passed away. I was also tying with the idea of Balin becoming the son as he seems to be tapping into something beyond the simple understandings that we have of the Force. This was by design too and Filoni said he deliberately made Balin's lightsaber orange so he could show he was neither Sith nor Jedi. Even some of his first words were, We are no Jedi. So it does make sense that they take things in a different direction. Sadly, as we know, Ray Stevenson passed away, and yet, it's still kind of up in the air exactly what's going to happen to his character. Ahsoka becoming the daughter though actually makes a lot of sense, as she was resurrected by the daughter's original energies. The daughter herself sort of manifested in the Al Morai, who did go on to become an ally of Ahsoka. Morai, of course, appears on that rock as well, and I think that Filoni will carry on the daughter themes. In case you don't know, the Owl became a convoy of the daughter, with some saying she was a physical manifestation of her. Morai actually appeared in the world between worlds and this is what led to Ezra pulling Ahsoka out. Also important to bear in mind here, you can see that there was a daughter statue, however this has crumbled away, possibly leaving the position open. The father and the son didn't die either, whereas the daughter did, so the crumbled statue being here makes sense thematically. Thus I think they're lining this up together with the Mortis gods being a way to defeat Thrawn and also the Night Sisters. The idea of a trinity is of course present in a lot of religions, but it's also very present in Star Wars and can be seen through lots of mediums. The Mortis gods were a trinity, and even the Night Sisters in their temples, they've all been aligned with three figures as well. The star map to Peridia was opened up through creating a Triquetra, which itself is too linked directly with the trinity. Lastly, we also have the ancient god figures on Zepho, which may be repeating here as we can see their text in the walls. So I think this series and what's to follow is about building around a new trinity for the saga. 